Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to, I'm just getting my computer set up here so I can see everything on screen. Where's my glasses? Here we go. Oh, okay. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day three of the Craft Alive online craft show. Natalie May today coming at you with three more live Facebook little mini classes, which is great for you guys. I love to give something back to you and say a little bit of thank you uh, for supporting our business and being our friends, which is fantastic. Good morning, Jean. How are you, lovely? Um, today on nataliemay.com.au, we have got like all the specials coming at you. Hello, Susan. Morning, Leslie. Uh, we have got all the specials coming at you. So today you can get 15% off of Lindy's Gang products, 15% off of All and Create products, and 49 and Market products. So this includes uh, stamps, stencils, washi tape, embellishments, stickers, all the things within these two companies here. Uh, we can all, you can also get 20% off of Scrap FX products, uh, which is fabulous for you. 10%, an additional 10% off our clearance. Take a moment to have a scroll through clearance. There are some bargains in the clearance section. And 20% off thickers. So thickers are alphabet stickers, title stickers, anything in the thickers category on our website. All right, so you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au. You will only get these specials online. These specials are not in person at all. Uh, our shop is closed today here in lovely, where are we, Marion? And um, we have got, yeah, we're madly packing your orders. Just a friendly reminder, postage is not free. Postage is $11.95 within Australia. Uh, and you do need to pay postage on your first order. But if you want to build on your order, you can pay $1.50, no judgment postage, and we will put them all together. All right, enough of that waffle. Let's crack into it. Sorry about my dirty workspace here. What I want to do today is I pulled out some 49 and Market. So 49 and Market have been around for quite a while. Um... Over 10 years, they used to do kits many, many years ago, and now they have bought out this beautiful array of products. Um, today, I thought I would show you what their colour swatch collection is all about. I do know there's a bit of reflection down here. Sorry about that. That's just the way that it is. So their late, one of their latest colour swatch collections is Colour Swatch Lavender. Now, this, this is a really pretty collection. Most of you know that purple is not my superpower, but I'm going to create with purple today just to show you that I can and we can do something beautiful with it. So let's have a look through this paper. Uh, this is a is eight double-sided papers, four designs, two of each. So let's have a quick flick through. Beautiful. And I love that you can use the flip side here of the cover sheet. I think that's really important. It's excellent use of paper. So we get two of that one, front and back. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful watercolour paper. And on the back is a, a kind of like a grungy sort of, uh, got some type on here. There's some other little bits and pieces. This leafy one is stunning. And then the back of this one, again, has got like some dots and some writing and like a ledger style paper. Then we've got this beautiful lace wash on here as well with a deeper purple on the back. So fantastic little collection. Um, I'm not going to use the paper today. I'm going to just use white cardstock. But let me just slide that back into the packaging before it ends up all over the floor. Uh, there we go. So they've bought out some beautiful colour ranges. Now, the other thing that they have bought out as well is these little goodies. 
Um, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to use these today. I'm going to use probably those and probably those. Their rub-on sheets are fabulous. Their rub-on sheets are really, really awesome. So these designs, we've got butterflies. We've got some leafy floral elements. Uh, we have some leaves. We have some paint swatches and some more grungy mixed media style here. We've got some beautiful edges and borders here as well as some journaling spots and some titles. So that's the rub-on transfer sheet. Then the film strips are something that have been super popular. These make fabulous embellishments for your pages, excellent embellishments for cards as well. Really, really easy to use. And they're like an acetate film strip. Um, and then we have got the laser cut elements. So I am going to use these ones today. So let's crack them open and have a bit of a look. See what's in the packet. So we have got 124 elements. So ah, that's a bit of a bargain. Plus you've also got these postcard strips here that you can cut out. What I like about these is that you can... You can just punch them out. They are ready to go. We do not need to fussy cut anything. So these little elements are just going to punch right out. 124 elements in this one. Not too shabby at all. All right. I have a little bit of an idea in mind. Um, and then the acetate leaves, which are my personal favourite, and the lavender frames as well. So what I thought I might do is I'm going to start with some Lindy's. And I'm going to, I've got some colours here in the Lindy's Magicals and I haven't worked out what I'm going to use yet. These ones here are from the set, from the set called Drop Dead Diva. So there are five sets. Um, what I, there, so what are Magicals, first of all? Magicals are from Lindy's Gang and they are a pigment dye based powder. So the pigment means that they're full of colour. The dye means that they have an excellent permanency to them and the powder needs it, means that we have to activate it to get the magic to happen. I've got my Nuvo spoon here and I'm just going to put a little bit into my paint palette of all of these colours. And I'm going to swatch these before I use them because I haven't exactly worked out what sort of colours are going to work and I just wanted to create a little bit of a, a mixed media, well, no, no, I just wanted to add a, whoa, look at that, a little pop of colour to the background. So by trying a few different here and swatching them first, um, and I thought maybe a green might be nice, so, I, you know, try before you buy is what we say. Always swatch them first before you commit to putting them on the page. So you can see that I'm putting like a super tiny amount. So that color is called Drop Dead Gorgeous Green. And this is also from the Drop Dead Diva set. Um, and then I also had here French Lilac Violet. Alrighty, I have got a, a pipette. We sell these online. You can grab them in a 10 pack or you can put them, uh, put them, uh, put them in your cart as singles. You'll find them in tools. So I've just got some clean water and I'm just going to drop some water into here. To activate that powder. Just so that I can see the colours that I'm, I, you know, I've chosen to work with. Um, and Tina's just suggest, suggested maybe a teal might be nice. You are correct. Uh, just try... I'll, the only teal I can instantly put my hands on is Tibetan poppy teal. And I do believe that is in the, oh, how good's my memory? Maybe the Autumn Leaves collection. And this is my most used teal magical, without a shadow of a doubt. And activate that. All right, so I've got a little range of colors there. So the first thing I want to do is grab some paper towel and I'm going to swatch these colours. I've just got a piece of white Kaisercraft cardstock. Nothing fancy. 
and I'm going to start with these purples, giving it a little stir, as because you need to activate that powder. So it's kind of like jelly crystals, you need to dissolve it. And that's super fluoro. Rinse my brush. This one is the High Maintenance Magenta. This is the Prima Donna Purple. Very similar. One's got a higher shine than the other. This is that gorgeous Drop Dead Diva Green. Now on camera, they're actually probably showing up as a very similar color, but um, they are actually quite different. So there's my colors. I'm swatching them first. I am heading towards this top color here, which was that first one. So what I might do is, I'm gonna leave that there, but I just have to be aware that I don't wanna use it. Having these handy is really, really important. So the great thing about Lindy's Magicals is, Actually, I'll put this over here. The great thing about the Lindy's Magicals is, is I can control how intense my color is going to be on my page. Now, keeping in mind that uh, I want to use a, I, I want to, I want to make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to add some more water to my magical. The more water you add the more the colour gets kind of um, lighter. So I'm just taking some out, putting it into here, adding more water to this one so that it becomes a little bit more fluid. So I've just got some plain cardstock here. You may get a bit of flicker here because my LED lights above tend to do that. And what I'm gonna do is I just wanna do some big loose circles. So I'm gonna take this colour and before I do anything, just off to the side, I'm just doing a little swatch. Oh yeah, that's much better. It's a much lighter colour. And it's got it's a really it's got a real pop to it. And just a big loose circle. Now I'm gonna add a little pink for a bit of a bit more of a pop. Back to this colour and I'm just testing it here just to make sure that I don't completely mess it up. This is a scrapbook page so I'm building a bit of a background. I'm going to come in with a bit more of this pink and give it a little bit more pop and when I put my when I put my colour on sorry, my elements on, this will all move to the background. This will just be part of the background. And I'm gonna add some splatters of teal and green to it as well. But I'm not gonna add the teal or the green until it is totally dry. Okay, popping all of these little elements aside here and I'm gonna pop this aside to dry before I do anything else. Okay. I have a little bit of a plan in mind, as you can see. I'm going to do this whole circular layout, which we've seen around a lot online. Um, so while that background is drying, um, I'm going to add, punch out some of these elements here. I like this here, and see how that just pops right out? So these are the 49 and marker element sheets. So that looks great. Um, I might punch that one out too. And I'm even thinking that my, my layout here is gonna need a little bit more depth now that it's drying up. Just bear with me, Jiffy. Oops. Just trying to find a slightly darker purple to give it a little bit more depth and have a try. Uh, so I've just got some Polite People Purple. I'm gonna give that a whirl in a minute. I'm just putting it there so I remember to do it while I punch these bits out. Uh, what other little elements do I want to use? I do love these little tabs. I'm gonna poke these out. 
ready to go. Now this saves fussy cutting, which as you all know, is not my favorite sport. I do love these torn, these ledger borders here. Pull out some of those. Uh, what I love about packets like these, if I can use at least half of something out of a packet, I figure that that's money well spent. The rest of these elements, if I don't use them immediately, I'm not too phased about. Um, the good thing here is that I can just pop them aside, pop them on a card later on if I'm ever looking for an element to come from... From those um, so sorry I'm just looking up and realized that there's comments there someone has asked okay so the little spoon that I was using that I've totally lost on my desk already because you know that's how I roll how the hell did it go that is called the if you go to my website nataliemay.com.au and type into the search bar Nuvo N-U-V-O spoon you will find the Nuvo spoon come up. I want to punch some of these leaves out. So the Nuvo spoon does make it, it is one of my most used tools. It was out of stock for about eight months. They've finally come back in again. Um, I'm going to use that because I'm going to need that pop of colour. Dun, dun, dun pop of green. All right, so I'm going to take, I'm going to come back in here to my palette. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, well, I don't have any gaps here, so I'm just going to suck that up and suck it onto my paper towel so it will soak in. Throw that in the bin. And I'm going to take... Clean that out. So I love that I can just soak it up. Just push it into the paper towel. I'm not wasting this because seriously, you saw how much powder I used. I used next to no powder. Um, a little bit goes such a long way. I mean, I could just reach behind me and try and find another paint palette, but you know. Thank you, Karen. Karen's just popped the link in the in there for the Nuvo spoon. You're a champion, love. All right, let's try this purple. Now I need that Nuvo spoon. Where did it go? Oh, you know what? I put it away. Who knew, right? So this is a slightly darker purple. And all my water is slightly tinged purple here, just off camera, but you know what? That's fine, let's commit to it. So these Lindy's Magical, so the, all the ones that I've been using here all have a, a slight um, shimmer to them as well. So you can see all of that shimmer coming to the surface, surface there in the screen, all that gold pop just come out. Um, looks bloody awesome. All right. Let's get in here, stir, 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 and just do a quick little swatch to see how my colour looks. That's better. That's more of a blue-based purple. That's the colour I should have gone with in the first place. Right, so therefore, let's turn this over and start again. Why not? Because I can. There we go. Much better. So the Lindy's magical. Some of them have got a shimmer to them and some of them are flat. So most of you know there is an exclusive Words of Wisdom set, which is the Natalie May set that I designed. And they are a flat magical, um, which I absolutely love. 
Yeah, that is a much better match, isn't it? I don't quite know what I was thinking. Started the day bright, failed at that. I'm just going to hit that with the heat gun very quickly to dry that off. So you can also do this with, if you have Lindy's sprays. There's nothing to stop you from taking the uh, taking the top off and putting a paintbrush straight into your bottle. You do have to dry it off in between because, of course, it is water. righty oh, nearly there. Doesn't take long to dry because I didn't saturate it. I'm just getting rid of these big fat bubbles here. Um, I am going to add some black pen to this scribble before I put anything over it because it needs a little bit of definition. It needs a bit of Natalie depth. And that comes for me with a black pen. So I do need to make sure that all of these elements are dry. And they have got a beaut... This magical's got a beautiful gold shimmer coming up through it as well. So that's a little bit nice. Come on. Dry, dry, dry. Dry enough for me. Dry enough for me, but is it dry enough for a black pen? Let's find out. So I'm going to do a, I'm holding my pen high and I'm going to do a loose black pen. Paper's a bit lumpy. Right come back to that. Rightio, let's get back to our layout. I'm pulling out these colour swatch lavender frames and let's have a look at these. So we are doing a scrapbook layout here. So when I create a scrapbook layout, it really does need to be about the photos. Our photos are the key element here. So I think I'm going to go with that one and that one. But I do love that this little frame set has got different sizes so I can go for two square ones I've got six by four I could go for one big one uh, and actually you know what there's there's quite a few so the square size here has got one two three four frames this size here we've got two I could go with a big one and a small one that's actually not a shabby idea Let's go with that one and so I do I do love scrapbooking. Um, I started off as a card maker a million and twelve years ago, uh, then moved on to and have moved or I should say and added um, scrapbooking and added mixed media. I'm going to stick that to there and then cut it out. Um, so yeah, I, I like to do a little bit of both, but the thing that we tend to forget about is that scrapbooking is about the photos, not about all the other pretty things on the page. Now, I haven't got any photos handy, but what I am doing is I'm only gluing the top here so that I can slide in... photos at a later date just so that it's giving me a base to where the photos are going to go to and then I'm just going to use some um, fancy Holt, fancy Tim Holt scissors to cut that out so just like art journaling, your page needs a focal point. So for this, everything needs to lead back to the photographs. So our photographs are our focal point, most importantly. And I'm going to foam tape those to my page. 
Now, I don't have any foam tape, thick foam tape handy, but I do have cardboard box. So this is the other thing. Oh, this one's a bit thick, hang on. Oh no, let's commit to it. Um, I like to cut a piece of cardboard underneath. It is light and it is recycling. And I'm gonna stick that under there to give it height instead of using cardboard, uh, instead of using foam tape. Uh, I'm gonna use glue to stick that on. A bit of height. So now my photos are going to pop off my page. So that I've got that little bit of height there. Righty O. Just before I do anything else, so for those of you just tuning in for the first time, um, I am just doing a quick scrapbook page this morning using 49 and Market, which we have got on special today. This is the 49 and Market, what's it called? Swatch, Colour Swatch Lavender Collection. It is a really lovely colour. Now, you may or may not notice, there are a few cheeky comments going on in the comments section about me using purple. Purple is my least favourite colour to work with. Um, but sometimes you've just got to step outside your comfort zone, right girls? So thank you for your words of support there. Right. Bit of a doodle. I feel like trying to work out which is the top. I feel like that's my top. Drink break. Photo and photo. So now we are going to build around that. <sighs> I pulled that off. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to pop that aside. I'm, I pulled aside these little bits here. I do like a little doily love. I like a little doily there. I do like that one. I'm going to layer these up. So I'm just going to start popping elements down onto my page. Uh, I, I really oh, I like that. Uh, I just want to have a bit of a play and I start popping things into position where I want them to go. I know I'm going to be adding those gorgeous acetate leaves, uh, so I'm going to be grabbing them in a moment, but I'm just building up to that. I do like this guy here. This is came off that push-out sheet. Again, it's another little journaling block. It might be really good over on this side. To light, I need a darker one. But these element sheets, are brilliant they are so easy to use holy moly look at that i like that uh what else have i got here um i don't want to use any more of that page let's see what's on this page i've got lots of leaves lots of butterflies lots of embellishments all right these are my solid elements there, and then I'm going to add my leaves. So the first thing I want to do is stick my photos down. Something that I like to do is I use a little bit of glue and I don't over glue and I, or if you're taping, I don't over tape because I like to be able to slip and shove. I love to be able to move things around. I love to be able to go, oh, maybe I don't love that there. You know, there's, there's that. So now I kind of like those there. Great, stick, done. Position, happy. Uh, this guy here, I like, I'm just going to put that much on. I can always go back and add more. 
it's a lot harder to take it off. The glue, once it's on there, is generally on there. So if you just pop a little bit of adhesive on, you now have the power to be able to slide things in and out. I don't know that I want that after all, actually. No. No. So I like to be able to, I like that little pop of colour through there. Less is best. And then you can build. Like, look at the amount of t glue on there. It is next to nothing. A little pop. And then I'm going to go here. And I know that I've got flowers and bits. I'm going to hold off on those. Let's look at these flowers. Flower. Ooh. And like, seriously, I didn't have to fussy cut that. That's a win for me. Well, that's nice there. That's nice there. I need another green element. I've got green, I've got green. Look at the pop that that green gives. Huge. I may not even need to add green magicals. Um, now, I need a third element of green. Because I've got so much purple going on here, it needs more green. So I'm going to put that there. So I'm just going to position them. Let's slide that over. No. This one is going on this side because of the way that it's facing. This one is going on this side. I may cut that leaf off yet. And I'm not going to adhere them. I'm just going to pop them into position. Layer, layer, layer. Layer upon layer upon layer. Right. Then these leaves can start to be tucked in. You know what? I'm just going to stick those down. Stuff it. Let's commit. A little bit of glue. Dob, 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 dob. Don't want to over glue because I could change my mind. Uh, where's my little foamy dots? So these are my $3.85 dots. You will find them in our adhesive section. I'm just going to pop one on to pop it into place. All right, Jessica May, I see you. You can keep your smart ass comments to yourself, my daughter, my only child of my loins. I've already addressed the purple situation. Right. Oh, when did I put that in blue? Bloody hell. Right, that's going to go there. So I'm just sticking it down up there to put it into position. <laughs> I love you too, child. All right. Let's go with now I'm going to pop some other little elements in so I can still slide my photos up there. Uh, I feel like I need to pop that down there. So now... This here is going to be covering up these loose edges in here and I can tuck some leaves and bits and pieces in, yeah? Or I can start working my leaves around in a circle. Lavender acetate leaves. Look at how beautiful these guys are. I love them. And I love that they've got... They've got a, a bit of a shine to them as well. There's so many leaves in this pack. I might have to get a bit of paper here. Okay, so there's 70 elements in here, right? Oh, that's pretty. Hang on. Can you see how pretty that is? I need to use that. Oh, here we go. Here we go, girls. I've got a, it's all happening now. Just let me go off on a tangent for a minute. I'll be right in a minute. I'll be able to, I'm just pulling out some of these long skinny elements. Just gonna pop that bit aside.
Okay, I'm going in light. They've got some big heavy ones here too. I'm a bit scared of those. Just laying them out. So welcome to those of you just tuning in. Um, I'm doing a little scrapbook layout today using the Lavender Colour Collection from 49 and Market. It is a really lovely collection. Lavender Crush, Colour Crush, Lavender, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Um, and Lavender, Lavender Crush, Colour Crush Lavender. Anyway. I have got all of these gorgeous little elements here and we are, I'm just showing you how easy they are to use. I'm going to go here. Oh, that's heavy there. That's heavy there. That needs to be light at the top. Heavier at the sides. Light at the top. Heavy at the sides. I need to find something to put here and here, and maybe down here. And I love that I'm not losing what's going on in the background. It's more kind of enhancing it a little. Too big. Oh, I've got butterflies. Maybe I'll stick some butterflies. All right, let's commit to some of this and stick it down. So I'm going to be using a clear drying glue. So I focus on putting the glue in the areas where it's not going to be seen. Focus on the spine area. This art by Marlene glue is my clear drying glue of choice. I'm not sticking any glue down on the top of my leaves because again, if I decide that I want to, you know, tuck and shove, then I can. So again, focus on these areas. Now, another great way of sticking acetate down to your projects, like these acetate leaves, is using a stapler. A stapler makes an excellent way to adhere things, and it also makes a great little embellishment. I do know that this glue will dry clear. I am not at all phased with the amount of glue that I'm using. And I know that it is a fabulous glue that is going to hold as well. All right. I've got all of those bits stuck on now. That's there, that's there. I've got a horrible mess. So yes, it happens to you too. It happens to me too. I wanna to use some slightly more opaque leaves. So we've got these ones here, which I've punched out of this sheet um, to give a bit of a, give a bit of depth. So I'm just gonna punch them out before I start shuffling them in. Welcome to everybody watching. I'm just noticing there's a few new viewers watching me create a scrapbook layout using 49 and Market. And these are the punch out elements that I'm using here. So they're an element sheet. They are fantastic, actually. They are a very underutilized product. So I'm not even going to think about this. I'm just going to commit and go dog with my glue. And I am going to think about this. Hang on a minute. No, not there. Not the top here. A little bit of intensity. Uh, stick that one down there. What's everybody up to this lovely Saturday morning other than hanging out with me, 
surely you've all got something happening today. I haven't stuck that one on, have I? to have lost my ability to be able to talk and create at the same time. I'm going to stick that down there. Stick that down there as well. So scrapbooking is about the photos, so don't forget that. We need to get everything on with photo first. Build your page around the photo. Don't build your page around the copious amount of embellishments that you seem to have collected in your lifetime. Don't build your page around those things. Build them, build your page around your photograph. A couple of tips about printing your photos. Don't do them at home. Send them off to Harvey Norman and get them done professionally if you want them to last, okay? All right, what else can I add in here? Let's have a bit of a look. I have got, let's find a title. There are some words on this sheet too. We've got lots of bows and ribbons on here. Uh, ribbons and bows aren't my thing, but they're gonna be great on a card. Um, I have got some lovely little, oh no, Louise, have you got ink on your hands? Um, I've got some lovely little sentiments on here. It's a time to be happy, dream higher than the sky. Look, I'm doing something with purple. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna punch out these little word sentiments. Do you want some more purple? I don't need any more purple. I have a large amount of purple here, but you know, thanks. Um, we are going to punch out these little frames as well, these little banner bits. And I'm gonna come in here I need to pop these in now. So the idea of these bits here are going to add some layers. So I want to lay them up with some of these foam dots and I'm going to use half foam dots and I snip, snip, snip. Just so that they can sit up a little bit. Sorry, I forgot doing it on camera, Natalie, not off the camera. Oh, I'm all thumbs. <laughs> Louise, it will wear off in about 10 minutes time and you won't even know that it's gone. I know, I know. Occupational hazard, getting ink on your fingers. Mm. What do you got? Jumbo blueberries. Jumbo blueberries. Oh, yum. Thanks. Oh. Okay. So sticking that on. Oh, crooked too, by the looks. With foam tape. And I might layer this one over the top. And I'm going to use glue on this because I really only want it to be stuck down a little bit. I know, Lou, Lou for those of you who are playing along at home, my wonderful sister who works here, the lovely Louise, our Packing and picking a ninja, as we like to call her. Louise is a non-crafter. Uh, consequently, getting a little bit of something, something on your fingers can be an issue. All right, so I've stuck those on. I, everything else is stuck on. I do need to go back and add some more adhesive. And I need to cover up these bits here. And I'm going to do that with butterflies. So two options for butterflies. We have got a lovely range of punch out butterflies here, but I'm, I'm really heading towards one of these transparency ones um, because they are super pretty. 
Uh, so I'm going to pop one there and I am going to foam mount him, her, it, the butterfly. So I've got a little bit of a, I'm going to double foam mount like a rebel to get an extra height. And then that's going to cover up this low hanging little point here. Dun, dun, dun. That's stuck. These here are stuck and I can go around now and add some little, some of these little half dots under the white leaves. You'll never notice them. I feel the need to pop a butterfly here where I've got a gap. And I can do that using some of these foam dots. Love that, love that. Do I want to put one here? I'm going to come back to there. Um, so you've got two, a couple of different sorts of butterflies in this kit. We've got well, some that are more transparent, some that have got a white to them. I'm heading towards the white ones so that I can put foam dots underneath them and they're not going to show through, okay? Tuck him in there. There's little halfy butterflies. We've got four big fat butterflies. Sometimes putting in too many butterflies can be a problem. Let's go back to my title words here. Let's go with these ones here. That's a good one. Let's foam mount that. So I do love these little dots. Um, you'll find them under in adhesives. $3.85 for a packet of... I don't know how many, heaps, uh, very low cost. Uh, that goes there. Which one do I do? You know what? Let's do both of them. These are my titles. Done. And I'll go for, take that one off. This one here today is a great day. I'm gonna pop that one, oops. Across the top, dream higher than the sky. Today is a great day. Uh, so yeah, you can see that it's coming together quite nicely. Christine, you can't have too many butterflies. Oh, I beg to differ on that one, but I, need, I just need a little bit of butterfly sorting here. I've got a bit of overkill with them. There, there's a lot going on. Um, I think that... No. I'm just going to flick through this little... I'll slide that over. And let's have a bit of a look through this packet of acetate leaves. Because there are some other little elements in here that I think that I have missed. That will fill a gap nicely and don't forget that you can cut these up too you don't have to have you don't have to keep them oh that's perfect you don't have to keep them as whole you have the power you have the scissors well okay let's look at how these butterflies are balanced we've got one here We've got a big one here. I feel the need to put one up here somewhere. That one might be too big. Let's have a hunt through and see what else I can find. And a slightly smaller white based one. How am I going for time? Oh, an hour. All right, smashing it out. So today on nataliemay.com.au as part of the online show, we have got can't see that. We have got 49 and mark it on special at 15% off, which is what I'm using here today. And we also have, I'm gonna to have to go for that big one. And we also have all and create products on special, uh, scrap effects products on special at 20% off. Uh, our clearance items, now there are certainly some bargains in clearance. I can tell you that right now. 
uh, clearance items, you will find an additional 10% off, taking them to anywhere up to 40% off in total. Uh, lots and lots of fabulous bargains. Oh, perfect. Um, in that little category, a very underutilized. Take a look through. The only reason they're in clearance is because most of us, most of the time, we ran out of room on the shelf for one or two items, and that's that's all it is. There's just one or two items left. All right, I'm just filling this little gap here, and I should have listened to my own. Listen to my own advice and knowing when to stop is important. But you know what? Let's commit. Okay, happy. Stop. Okay, there we go. Right. So here we go. We have got a layout done. Done and dusted. Natalie, stop adding things. And then I'm going to put all these little leftover bits in a, in a Ziploc bag. What we have done here is created a scrapbook page using, is it all stuck down? Oh yeah. Using 49 and Market Colour Crush elements. We have used the Lavender, the Lavender collection, which is absolutely lovely. Uh, and yes, for those of you who know me, Lavender and Purples are not my favorite color to go with um, but gee that's annoying but I'm just going to hold that there while the glue catches um, but I wanted to show you how easy they are to use so we have uh, used magicals in our background to create this color swatch and I used a black pen to give it a lift and a bit of definition. Uh, we used a packet of the, we built our layout from the from the photo back, which is the way that you should be scrapbooking, um, where you have a, a frame. These are my photos. So we have got here the Color Swatch Lavender Frame Set. And look, you can even use that bit in your, photo, in your um, layout. So this is an 18 piece set, excellent value for money. We have used the lavender acetate leaves, which is a 70 pack, and that is these gorgeous acetate leaves that I have been sliding in to finish off my, my page with. Um, really, really lovely. Super easy to use. We have also used today the... 124 piece lavender laser cut elements. Now these are, I showed them in the live Facebook walk around this morning, a highly underestimated set. The 40, 49 market do these cut elements out and I highly recommend you taking a moment. Do a search on the website for laser cut elements and you will find all of them that you can get with 49 and market. We have got ribbons, we've got buttons, we have got leaves, we have got um, ribbons that you can run across your page, butterflies, flower elements, and these are punched out ready for you to use, which means that you do not have to fussy cut them, which is a massive win for me, that's for sure, um, because Karsh is not here today to do my fussy cutting for me. So super easy, and at 15% off today, you can certainly afford to pop a couple of those in your cart, use them for card making, use them for lots and lots of different sorts of purposes. Um, I'm just going to go around and add a little bit of glue to a few of these spots if I need to, but I think everything's just about stuck down. Um, the, they're really, really easy and really, really fun. But what I love about this is these pops of green that come in, okay, look really, really you know, give it a good amount of life. I could have added some swatches of magicals and some splatters of green, but it's a bit late now because I don't want to add any more over the top there. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au and we will, and the discounts automatically get uh, applied at your cart. 
If you have not placed an order, you do need to select eleven ninety five flat rate break postage, or you can, if you have placed an order over the weekend. Thank you very much for doing that, and you can add to your cart for a dollar fifty with the no judgment postage because this is a no judgment environment. Um, I'm going to take a photograph of this for you and pop it online to show and so you can link some of the products that we've used. Um, use the magicals, use brushes, use all sorts of bits and pieces. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you back here again at 1.30 and uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do at 1.30 today yet. I'll have a little bit of a think about that. Uh, but I look forward to seeing you all then. See ya.